What is up sharers? Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to another epic day. So last vlog was a little bit crazy. We go out there and it was kind of like a complete fail. It went totally wrong. We took my RC car down to the pond and we tried driving across the water and it worked. Three, two, two one, go. go. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. Yes! That's not where it went wrong. After I drove across the water, we tried it again and a really weird noise happened. Now, whoa. Carter, what's going on with your X-Max? Oh gosh. And it turns out the car was like broken, like something in the steering servo broke. So I called the hobby shop and they said it's gonna take a couple days to fix. So we're not gonna be able to get it fixed, but that's okay, because luckily we have this X-Max. This is the one that we're gonna use today. And we're gonna be doing an RC car mod that I have never seen done before ever. So this might be like a world's first. We are gonna be doing dualies on each of the tires, but not with regular tires. We're gonna be doing dualies with paddle tires. And then we're gonna see if we can drive it across the water, over across the pond and see if it works better or if it works worse. But I think even if it doesn't work, I feel like it'll still float because it'll have eight wheels on one X-Max. That sounds pretty cool. And of course, if you guys are watching this video, welcome to the Share family. Welcome to the strongest, most loving family on YouTube. We are across, whoa, Liz is back there. The Share family is across four different channels. We got my channel, my brother Steven, we got Lizzie, and even our dog has a channel, Baby Otter. So smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that bell to keep updated on the awesome videos that we're uploading. So now to get started, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. We got Liz, hey Liz. Hi, what's going on Shares? What are you working on? I'm building a table. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay, you know where Steven is? Uh, I think he's upstairs. Okay, Shares, I'm looking for Steven because today's vlog is gonna be awesome. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, oh, you scared me so no, much. Shares, welcome to the oh, vlog. Oh my gosh, Steve, you actually scared me so bad. <laughs> Oh, you almost fell wow. down the stairs. That like, it was like an explosion in my chest. That's how scary that was. Anyways, oh. let's get started with the vlog. Oh my gosh. So this is Steven, this is my brother. If you haven't met him already, this is Steven. He's got his own channel, it's awesome. And Lizzie has her channel too. So if you haven't subscribed to their channels yet, after this video, make sure you subscribe to their channels. Now let's get on with the vlog. Steven, you gonna help out? I'm ready to help out. Yeah, with your red hands. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so. This is the other X-Max that we used. This is the one from Hawaii and the one that we used last vlog. One, two, let's go. Yes! So it didn't sink in the water. It actually worked perfectly, but it still somehow broke. So I'm really upset about that, but that's okay. We're gonna take off the tires on this one and we're gonna add them to the green one over there. So we actually have another set of tires and we're gonna combine it with these sets of paddle tires. So we have this set of paddle tires and this set of paddle tires. And we're gonna stick it onto this X-Max over here. So let's get to work. We gotta take these tires off and put the paddle tires on. So we're gonna need all the paddle tires that we have. We're gonna need all eight. So that means we gotta take them off in this one. Here we go. We got our first set of paddle tires. Let's go put them on. These will be the easiest ones to put on because you just swap them out with these tires. Whew, okay, we got one tire on. Let's do the rest. Whew, okay, we got our first set of paddle tires on. This thing is awesome. And just like this, it'll be able to drive across the water super well. So we got these old tires. These are the stock tires. We're not gonna be using these today, so I'm gonna go grab another set of paddle tires. These are the new set of paddle tires that we're gonna be using. Let's open these up. Ooh, these are fresh and brand new. This is going to be awesome. So the whole idea now is to be able to attach them on like this for each tire, so it's doubled up on each one. And then we're gonna go and try it on the water and see how it does. We'll try it on the ground too, and we'll see how it drives on the grass, through the dirt, and then we'll try and see if it can float or drive on water. To attach the wheels together like this, the way I'm gonna try to do it today is with zip ties. I know it's not the strongest way to do it, but it's gonna be quick and it might be strong enough. So let's just give it a try and see if it works. I'm gonna put two like this together and now we have to go and we're gonna feed it through the spokes and for each spoke, we're gonna zip tie around each one tying it together. Pull it through like that and the wheel is gonna go up. There we go, just like that. And then we are going to then close the loop and pull it tight around that one spoke and we're gonna do it around each of the six spokes. Okay, so we just got one tire done. It took quite a while, but as you can see, I did zip ties around almost all of them. I couldn't get one around here. It started to get kind of tight in there, but surprisingly, this wheel is locked in place really solid. I can't even like seem to budge it at all, so this might actually be a great solution. Let's do the rest of the wheels. Oh, check this out. We got both of the front wheels on. 
This is awesome. We just gotta do the back wheels and we're gonna be ready to go. We're gonna take this outside, but this thing is becoming enormous really quick. We are all done. Check this out. This thing is huge. It's a little heavier now too. Wow. This is what I call an RC car. This is giant. This is really big. I think we need to go outside and test it out, Steve. What do you think? Carter, I'm thinking let's put the body on so the sheriffs can see just how massive this thing is. Yeah, become. it hardly fits on the table now. This footprint is massive. The cover's on. Check this out, sheriffs. Look at this thing. This is the new monster X-Max that we just built. It wasn't too hard, we just used zip ties. Hopefully they're strong enough and the wheels don't go like flying, breaking off. Okay, let's go take this thing outside. This thing is so big, it's like hard to carry now because the wheels stick out so far. Whoa, that thing is like bigger than me. Liz, what do you think of this thing? Oh my goodness, this is huge. Yeah, this is huge. I feel like Liz can ride on this thing now. Let's try the first drop test. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, okay. It still looks like it's pretty good. Let's go for it. There's a bunch of deer outside. Check this out. Let's be quiet. Maybe we'll see them closer. There they are. Look how many deer there are. Oh my. Here they go. They're starting to start running away. Woo! Share the love! Bye, deer! Shares, I'm telling you, we get some crazy animals in the backyard. We get some big deer down there. Check it out. They're still actually still standing there. We should try chasing them with the x Max and see if they'll run away. If you guys have any crazy animals you find in your backyard, comment them down below. I'm curious to know what you guys find in your backyard. Now it is time to bring out the monster. x Max with dually paddle wheels. Okay, well here it is. We got it fired up. Let's see if it goes. Here we go. It's gonna go nice and slow at first. Oh. oh. Hey, it works really well. It actually doesn't even seem like it's like struggling at all. Well, there it goes. That's the Monster X Max. So far, so good. The wheels look a little wobbly, Carter. Actually, just that front one looks wobbly. The other ones look pretty rock solid. This one right here, it's a little off center. I think this is the first one I put on, so maybe I didn't do the best job. So I'm gonna see if I can just like shimmy it a little bit. Try to line it back up. I don't know if that works. Let's see, let's try reverse. That looks a little better, actually. I think it looks a little better. There it goes. Oh yeah. That's like the world's biggest X-Max chasing the deer now. Oh, goodbye deer. Okay, here it comes back up the hill. I'm gonna go a little bit faster now. Oh, I hear some like clicking noise, Carter. Yeah, so do I. I think it's one of the zip ties. Must be like hanging out somewhere, rubbing against something on the inside. Like, you know how you get the little zip tie tails and you don't cut them off? Then I don't think it's a problem. It looks like it's working. Now let's go test and see what this thing can do. Let's go down to the pond and see if we can drive over some logs and sticks and then we'll try driving on water. Okay, we gotta give it some throttle right here. Check this out, ready? Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. Ready, in three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, something's clicking now. Uh-oh. That acceleration was not good. It might have broken. Yeah, where's that clicking coming from? I don't know. I think it's probably the front, the first wheel that I did, it was kind of experimental, so I think it's actually having a little bit of problems. Oh, I found it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, it's this one right here. It's that thing right there. Oh yeah. That's clicking, so it's probably not a problem, it's just kind of annoying. Oh wait, no. Uh oh, what? The zip tie broke. Oh no. So this one has only four zip ties left. So maybe we should go stick another one on real quick. Cause I think all the other ones are doing pretty good. Yeah, the other ones look good. Yeah, back to the basement. Let's put a zip tie on real quick. Woo, woo. All right, we're all good. We got a new zip tie on there. Let's see if it still works. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's good to go. Let's go down to the pond and let's test this thing out and see what it can do. This is absolutely crazy. This is like the biggest, I wonder if this is bigger now than the world's biggest RC car. And that big RC car is big. Oh, this thing is bigger than me! Yeah, this thing is so big and it goes so fast, Liz. We got all kinds of different trains down here. We got like logs and sticks and branches. We can see if we can try driving it over that. But the ultimate is definitely, can it drive on water? Like, I'm really wondering, since it has a lot more tires on this, is it gonna drive on water better? Or is it actually just gonna make it sink? You know what I mean? Like. I think it might make it help a lot more because you have a lot more surface area. Oh, you got a friend back there, Carter. Shares, come right now if you can see the deer. Oh, there it goes, it's running away. Bye, Mr. Deer. Oh, that thing just destroys. Oh. oh. Yeah, this thing is good. Oh, Carter, go climb those stairs. 
do a little rock crawling. Not really set up for rock crawling, but here we go. Oh, oh. Oh. Not a good idea. I feel like we're gonna break something. Let's try going down the stairs. Okay, so it does fit on the stairs. Now let's see if we can go down the stairs. Here we go, ready? Oh. It kind of bottoms out. Oh, nice. That front wheel is still looking a little wobbly. You know what, Carter? Let's take it to the front yard. Let's do some jumps. Yeah, let's see if this thing can fly. Here we go. We're in the front yard. This is the jump. This is the same jump that we jumped the dirt bike on. We jumped the world's biggest RC car on. We jumped everything off this like little hill thing because it works really well. Let's see if this thing gets some air. It's gonna be a lot heavier. So I have a feeling it's gonna be so heavy it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, it might be too heavy. Oh. oh. I don't know, Carter. Do that again. Let's watch it in slow-mo. I think those tires are about to fall off. Yeah, especially this one right here. super wobbly. This front one right here is definitely looking loose and wobbly. I don't know if we put this one on tight enough because I think we need to tighten that one up. But the other ones seem pretty okay. Let's try it in slow-mo. This is the giant X-Max versus the jump in slow-mo. Here we go. And three, two, one, go. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna try coming down the hill. Let's see how wobbly it is. Ready? Here we go in three, two, one. Oh, oh yikes. That was really wobbly. Oh my gosh, look at that front wheel. Oh no. This one is like sliding all over I don't the think place. It's like touching the ground. Yeah, this one's like bad. This one needs to be retightened. But the other ones actually look rock solid. I don't know what's wrong with this one. I I'm think not... you put it on too loose. Yeah, I think I need to tighten those zip ties. I'm wondering with the extra tires, if it's got more pulling power, maybe it can pull like you want a sled if it were to snow again. Let's try it. Oh, it's got some pretty good pulling power. I bet it could pull you. The last test we gotta do is try to climb some logs. I wanna see if these wheels can hang on if we climb these tree branches that fell. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. That was really good. I think that probably works better because of the tires. It just had like more things to grab to get it up and over those branches. Let's try it one more time. Okay, here we go. Oh, gosh. oh, oh, ow. Uh, Wrong that way. Was weird. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Here we go. Uh oh, I think we might be stuck. Uh oh. It's the selfie stick. No! The selfie stick is making it catch. Every time it goes over, it catches like that. So I'm gonna see if I can take this yeah, thing take off. Take that selfie stick off. The selfie stick, no! So we tried a bunch of different tests and it looks like the only weak link is, is this one tire. All I gotta do is pull those zip ties a little tighter and we should be good to go. The ultimate test is now to take it down to the pond and drive it on water. Steven, what do you think is gonna happen? Well, Shares, after reviewing the slow-mo, uh, Carter, I don't think it's gonna make it on the water with that front wheel. It is literally just full off and off. Yeah, well, I'm gonna tighten it and then we're gonna try it. Then I have a feeling it's actually gonna work. I think maybe just be able to place the X-Max on the water and it'll just float on its own. Yeah, I think it might float. If it ever were to like sink, I think it would just float. And I also think we could probably go like really slow, like half throttle, half the speed, because we have twice the tire. So I think it's gonna like just crawl across that water. Sherez, comment what you think is gonna happen. Sherez, what do you think is gonna happen? You think the X-Max is gonna be able to ride on the water with the extra tires? I think so. I think so too, let's go try it, come on. Here we go, in three, two, one, go! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 